Hello, everyone. Let me give it a few seconds. Hi, everyone. It's me, Sarah, here at the Enosburg Public Library. Welcome to our Friday, Saturday story time. Friday, Saturday story time. Oh, my goodness. So silly. Anyway, I feel like I'm in a weird... I tried a different um, area of the library, and right now I'm really orange, and it's great. Okay, I'm just going to continue. How are you guys doing today? It's absolutely gorgeous. The breeze is perfection. So, I'm really excited. It's Friday. we got the weekend. These weeks are just flying by, guys. School is almost over. I can't believe it. This is crazy. But I have a fun book for you. Who likes to how do dinosaurs books? I do. So this is one of our newest ones. It's how do dinosaurs show good manners? Dinosaurs showing manners? Do you guys know your manners? We'll find out. This is How Do Dinosaurs Show Good Manners by Jane Yolen and Mark Tague. For my grandkids who are tired of my lectures and manners. Ha! That's so funny. Okay, here we go. What if a dinosaur won't be polite? Maybe he burps at the table and starts a food fight. Uh-oh. Does she spit out her broccoli on the floor? Uh-oh. Does he shout, I hate meatloaf, while slamming the door? Ooh. Does the dinosaur know what the word please is for? Does she yell and toss books off the library shelf, then grab all the dinosaur books for herself? Oh, no, no, no. Does he bully his friends, push them off the big slide? Does he tell baby brother, no piggyback ride? Does she dump piles of dirt in the tub to make a flood? Does she sassily say, I'm inventing new mud? Uh, no, dinosaurs don't. They're never that crude, they're always polite, and try not to be rude. They say, please and thank you, I'll clean up that dirt. Excuse me for burping. I'll help when you're hurt. They wipe up the table and vacuum the floors. They share all the books and they never slam doors. He and his friends all take turns down the slide. He gives baby brother a big piggyback ride. And after each gift or favor's been done, each one says politely, thanks, thanks everyone. Good manners galore, my polite dinosaur. The end. And then in this book I like, well, You've never read these books, then. They always have the name of the dinosaur somewhere on the page. Who wants to hear me mispronounce the name? I'm ready. That one looked like a good one. This is called a Metriacanthosaurus. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Metriacanthosaurus. That's so cool. Do you guys have a favorite dinosaur? I can talk about my favorite dinosaur all day, but I'm just going to tell you what it is. It's the Velociraptor. That's my favorite dinosaur. What are your guys's? I want to see them in the comments below. Okay, so what we have today 
is you are going to have your take it make it bags they're ready for pickup sorry the light was <laughs> just got not gonna look at the camera but, um so we're gonna have a few things in there we're gonna have this past steams uh crafts in that we are going to have tomorrow's and we have today's of course so you are going to have a paper towel roll and some cutouts and you are going to want to paint your paper towel roll any color that you want and then after it has dried you're going to cut some slits down each end and then you're going to take what do you think this is guys it's got a tail it's a pterodactyl I'm making a pterodactyl so Hold on, let me move over here. My thing is boom. So, like I said, once it is all dry, you're gonna take one your head part, this is your head, and you're gonna just slide it right in there like that. And then da -da -da -da, this part with the spiky spikes like that, that is the tail. So we're going to do just like that. And so once that is ready, you're going to take your wings. These are your wings. And you're just going to fold a little bit, like a half inch or so on the bottom part. You're going to take your glue. And you're going to glue that part of the fold. Oops. And we're going to put it like so. And we're going to do that to the other side. Let me make sure I have it on right. There we go. Glue that to the opposite side. And voila! Oh, maybe here, you can take this out since you didn't glue it. Let's make him have eyes. Actually, I'm just gonna make it. Give him a little smile. And they do have really, really, really sharp, sharp, sharp teeth. <clears throat> and pterodactyls. Those are actually, to me, the most scariest dinosaurs. One of them, because they can fly. Oh, and they're huge. And here we go. We have our own pterodactyl. Oh, you might want to draw on the other side too. So, and then once it's all dry, if you would like, you could take a string to it and swoop it around, and then you're all set. Let me put that aside now. Again, thank you all so much for joining me this morning. I hope you have the most wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for tomorrow for our Saturday story time. Um, make sure you guys come in, check out some books. We have new books. We have the bags out. We have our free books. Um, use the computer if you need to. Anyways, come on by, and I can't wait to see you. Thank you all so much. Bye.